Which one of these numbers is larger? Let's solve this in 20 seconds. So a denominator of 14 and a denominator of 16 is just really weird. They're really big and it's just hard to work with. So what we're gonna do is use an easier method where we don't even have to get a common denominator between the bottom two. Because in school, that's what teachers would tell you to do, but I'm gonna teach you a faster way. So what we're gonna do is use something called the butterfly method. And essentially what that is, is first we're going to get rid of this right here because we don't need it. So the first one that we're gonna do is multiply this diagonal, so 14 times 11. And the second one we're going to do is do this second diagonal, which is nine times 16. Now, when we multiply out 14 and 11, what we're going to get is 154. And when we multiply out nine and 16, the answer we're going to get is 144. But how do we know which one is bigger? Now we know that 154 is obviously bigger than 144, but what does that tell us about the two fractions? Now, 154 is tied with the multiplication of 14 times 11, and 144 is timed with the multiplication of nine times 16. But for each of these, we're gonna look at one numbers on the top. So nine times 16, the number on top is going to be nine. And for 14 times 11, the number on top is going to be 11. Now to see which number, so for example, is 154 correlated with nine over 14 or 11 over 16, we're gonna look at the number on top. And if we look at 154, 14 times 11, 11 is the number on top. So 154 is going to go on this side and 144, 16 times nine, nine is on top. So 144 is going to go on this side. So this side is going to be represented by 144, the left side and the right side is going to be represented by 154. And because 154 is greater than 144, then 11 over 16 is going to be the bigger fraction. And if you want to get better at math while on TikTok, make sure you hit the follow button.